Hello. Um, so I have known about this bill for a while and I didn't talk about it because I really like to know every side and form a very educated opinion. And this one, I just, if you can, please help me out. I cannot justify why this is being pushed, especially at the time it's being pushed. And I can't wrap my head around why this is okay and I've heard all the arguments. I'm talking about SB 145. If you haven't heard of SB 145, it is something that actually got passed by Governor Newsom uh, here in California just a few weeks ago and it was done in kind of a sneaky way. He passed it when he signed the bill. It was about 5 p.m. on a Friday and I know this bothered a lot of people. I think maybe he was hoping it would kind of go away or the weekend. I don't know, but I, I've stayed on this and I've, I've tried to really look into it and hear both arguments. Um, but SB 145 is, is basically a bill that is guised in equality. And the bill states that if you are an adult and you have sex with a minor of the same sex and you perform certain acts, um, and you're within a 10-year age range, you are not technically required to register as a sex offender. Um, that will be up to the judge. Now, keep in mind the act is still illegal, but you are not required to register as a sex offender, and the gap is um, up to 10 years. So you can see, obviously, why this has a lot of of criticism. And before we go any further into it, I just want you to see um, this is the person that is responsible for the bill. This is Senator and I'm, I don't mean to be um, uh, petty or I don't mean to be immature, um, but his name is Scott Weiner. And I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Be mature. His name is Scott Weiner. Why, why is that always you can't, anywho, this is Scott Weiner uh, interviewing and, and justifying his bill. So let's watch that and then we'll talk. Well, we've received viewer emails about this bill. The author of SB 145 says he's even received death threats. There's been a lot of misinformation and straight up lies about SB 145. It's attracting some heated responses on social media. Is it true SB 145 legalizes pedophilia? The answer is no. Our sources, the bill itself, the author of the bill, Democratic Senator Scott Weiner of San Francisco, and legal analyst Wendy Patrick. Adults having sex with minors in California is illegal, period. This bill does nothing to change that. Here's what the bill states. This bill would exempt from mandatory registration under the act a person convicted of certain offenses involving minors. If the person is not more than 10 years older than the minor, and if that offense is the only one requiring the person to register. So what does that mean? Here's the way Senator Weiner explains it. All this bill does is to say when we decide who has to go on the sex offender registry once you've been convicted, that we will treat LGBTQ young people exactly the same way that we have treated straight young people for the last 76 years. Okay, so you basically get the gist of the bill. And remember, this was passed and signed by Gavin Newsom just three weeks ago. This bill was signed when we are in the middle of a historic pandemic, uh, wildfires, rampant homelessness, blackouts. Uh, also, our California unemployment has been backed up for several weeks, causing them to have to pause it for two weeks. So we're in the midst of all these crises, and this is something that gets pushed through and passed in the middle of this, and this is something that we're taking time on. And they are right about one thing. There is inequality uh, basically on the books, and that inequality is that um, male-male does not get treated the same as male-female, basically, because if you're doing certain acts, male-female acts, you are not automatically required to be on the sex offender registry. Um, now, if you're the same exact age, you're doing... Um, you know, male, male acts, then you are required to be on the registry. But my argument would be, why aren't we closing the loophole the other way and making it male, female that you have to be on the uh, registry? So that's really confusing to me. And they're using this under the guise of inequality, but I still 
And if you can give me an argument for this, please, but I still have not heard anything. And I listened to countless people who are for this bill justify it. And I I haven't found anything justifiable. Um, They're saying it's about inequality. Okay, then let's close it. But why are we giving people that want to engage in sexual acts with minors more leeway why aren't we closing that we are also human trafficking affects I believe like 40 million people all over the world uh and human trafficking is on the rise it's the third biggest crime industry in the world soon to be the second biggest crime industry in the world and a lot of human trafficking goes under detected because the the victims feel ashamed and they don't come forward and the way that a predator um, gets a victim and gets a minor a minor is by manipulating them um, so this to me is I I don't understand in this time where we're having all of these missions to go out and rescue children this time when our children are incredibly vulnerable why is something like this on the table and I also heard them justify it saying well the uh the police are behind this and um the uh, DAs are behind this and we have these nonprofits b- who are behind this but why exactly are they behind it that's what I haven't heard I did hear one argument that said police are behind it because if you have uh, an 18 year old male that's with a 17 year old male and then that person has to be on the the uh, sex offender registry and then that basically ruins their life okay so then why is the age range in this bill 10 years That means that a 24-year-old can be with a 14-year-old and not be required to be on the offender registry. And the reason that offender registry is so important is so um, people that monitor trafficking and all these things can monitor these people. I also want to point something else out. So this individual, Scott Wiener, and a few other people that were for the bill will automatically say that anyone who is opposed to this, which is a common tactic, remember remember this, this is a very common tactic, and they used it with the film Cuties. They said that anyone that opposed the film Cuties or that criticized it was a right-wing conspiracy theorist, and that is exactly what Scott Wiener is trying to say to anyone that criticizes this. And let me, but let me tell you this too. On the floor, when they were trying to pass this, this got bipartisan disapproval from Democrats and from Republicans. And when they polled Californians, 75% of Californians were opposed to this bill. So this is another instance where you have these people People getting into office they are voted in for the people but they are not representing the people so again it makes me question why was this bill passed and hey if you guys know please let me know I, I cannot wrap my head around it but it's something that needs to be talked about and people need to be aware that stuff like this is happening and again and again and again I keep seeing this we are we are <sighs> kids are the victims these minors are are the victims why are we never on the side of the victims we are always on the side of perpetrators and what is a grown man or a grown woman wanting to do with a minor um all right let me know what you guys think bye